My mother's side of the family, her ancestors came from Germany through Ellis Island. Yes, my and father's right. side of the family has been in this country since the 1600s. If Ellis Island was not around, do you believe that it would be the same as it is today? If not? Probably not. Even if Ellis Island were there, the immigration rules have changed so much over the last decade or so. And even then, uh, um, if my ancestors from Germany tried to enter the U.S. during World War II, for example, that would have been a lot different. We were at war with Germany then. Ellis Island's an important place. I'm glad to be here with my fellow honorees today. For me, Ellis Island's about if uh, you can't really know who you are unless or where we're going, unless you know who we were, where we came from. You really can't understand what it means or might mean to be an American unless you know what it meant to be an American. Uh, so I'm glad to be a part of the ceremony, not just to honor my grandfather, Anthony Zerilli, came through Ellis Island at the turn of the century. He was unable to read or write. Uh, went to New York University. He became a lawyer. Uh, he made a short stop at Sing Sing Prison. But that's another story. <laughs> Into each life. <laughs> uh, and he went on to lead a very inspirational, he was this garrulous, booming voice, small, Italian man who seemed uh, like a rock star to me when I was a kid, <laughs> you know. Um, I also want to remember Adelina Sorrentino. It's my grandmother. She arrived at 28. She lived to be 100 in Freehold, New Jersey, and never spoke any English. <laughs>